Hey guys and welcome to another random video and today we are doing the 90s kid tag so let's jump into the wonderful tag questions we have today I have it all on my phone oh and also if you hear some fans blazing right next to you um, you may not hear it, I don't know but I have my laptop right next to you right there so <sighs> Hopefully it's not too loud for you. Sorry about that in advance, but my laptop won't shut up. <laughs> I'm currently uploading files and it's just quite fantastic. Sorry about that. But, oops, I turned off. So the first one is favourite toys. Favourite toys in the 90s. Well, uh, I used to like playing on them space hoppers. The, the best way I can describe it is uh, the planet Saturn. Uh, there's this little ball around this ring and you put uh, both feet on the ring. You try to squash the ball so you don't fall off it when you jump up. Um, Basically, it's like um, a bouncy castle that moves. Um, used to play them all the time at school, and well, there was always such a limited supply. And once you got one, it was the best toy you could possibly have. Um, the the appearance of it was a pink ball and a yellow ring, plastic ring around it. Um, I'm not sure if you can find it. Uh, it, it could vary in colours, but if you could, if you would search space hoppers, then you probably might find it. You probably might find it. Um, the other items type toys I used to have in the 90s when I was growing up. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't think I really had many toys. It was mainly imagination and skipping ropes, balls, uh, hopscotch. Um, it's just. From what I can remember, I always used a lot of my imagination. Um, I remember at school where we used to get one skill. Take the string around your ankle, and you spun it around. You, you skip with it, so um, <laughs> it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain, but don't advise to do this at home. But do it like that. So it's the string. That bit there. Turn that's the string. That's the leg. And then. This is the other leg and you skip over it. Don't go spinning scissors around your fingers. <laughs> I only did that for an example, but don't spin it around on your fingers, it's naughty. Well, I can't even think of anything else. <laughs> uh, and my blister's gone already. Okay. Tag question, thank you. Favourite adverts? Uh, oh, golly. <laughs> um, I don't honestly remember any adverts at all. Um, I used to watch a load of videotapes. Is there a point where I can want to talk about TV shows? I don't know. Oh. I'll leave it to. I'll, I'll leave it as videotapes. Um, there was nothing much on the TV that would interest a kid of my age back then, so we used to have hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of videotapes that I would watch constantly. I think I still have them somewhere in the other room. Um, <laughs> it may take me a while to get them out, but hmm. May show you in another video vlog type thing at some point. So, a 
and number three, in in sync or Backstreet Boys. Oh my god, which one? In sync or Backstreet Boys? Uh, well, I never really paid attention to them back in the day, but if I had to pick on one of the two, it would be Backstreet Boys because they well, I think they're mainly on TV and radio more often from what I can remember. Um, one of their main songs that I know really well was well, it goes like back streets back all right <laughs> uh, weirdest fashion trend weirdest fashion trend well being a little kid I didn't really pay attention to fashion but um, there's this one picture where my mother knitted a weird jumper. It's all yellow. And it's totally horrid. I don't like it. Uh, my brother was a baby in that picture and he was way more stylish than I was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Kids of six or seven or whatever don't often use fashion clothes. Probably do these days, but back before the 21st century, <laughs> uh, they don't really have fashion. <laughs> uh, number five, favorite collectibles. Ooh, ooh. I know I collected stuff. I know I collected stuff, and probably some of this will fall into um, the noughties. Um, I think I used to collect Kinder eggs and collect the toys inside them. I used to have like loads of those eggs all the time, and I used to get all the toys out of it. Um, I just think I used to collect Beyblade spin things, not the real deal, stuff that comes out of cereal boxes. Um, I think I did a few Pokemon things as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think. Oops. Uh, I started collecting some penguin toys. I haven't stopped collecting penguin toys. Yeah. So, Beyblade, which I think was an old cartoon. I think it was an old cartoon. Somewhere along that line. Pokemon. Penguin related items. Uh, number six, favourite beanie baby. Ooh, baby. I never got any beanie babies. <laughs> Were they being sold then? I mean, like, I can't remember even beanie babies being made then. Were they been made? After 1996, I don't honestly remember. If not, well, if so, I never got any of them because I would have known. But I had like a top shelf of old teddy bears from a long, long, long time ago. And I don't have any beanie babies. Um, I think I got one just before 2005, but that's 2005, not early noughties, it's mid noughties. Uh, seven? How many Tamagotchis did you go through? Oh, I think, I don't think I really got the real deal of Tamagotchis, I think I got a, a knockoff or two. Um. I think there was a bath version where it had shampoo with it. Um, strange thing to say though. Um, there were, I used to like playing with bath type products that had little games with them. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have one of those 
items that had a little creature inside it and you can just press any random button that makes them wiggle about. It ain't Tamagotchi, it's something else. But I swear, one time ago I did have some sort of a Tamagotchi but I don't remember much of it. <laughs> this tag is going well because I hardly remember anything that's happened in the last 20 to 15 years. Favourite game system and game? Um. <laughs> I have had a rubbish childhood. <laughs> um, as for games, uh, I have to say, I'm not sure when I got PlayStation 1. No, I didn't get a PlayStation 1, did I? I got a PlayStation 2. Oh. It's so old. <laughs> um, so I skipped the PlayStation 1, I went to the PlayStation 2. Um, we got two actually, two. And my brother has the oldest one, and I have a much newer one. That's what I'm turning off. Um, uh, whew. We used to get given some old PlayStation 1 games and we played around with them until we got used to the PlayStation 2. And then over the next couple of months we started to get PlayStation 2 games. Um, then we, well, then my brother caught his eye on The Sims 1. That became our favourite game of all time and then I started a giant fandom. Ha! Uh, so we got The Sims 1, PlayStation 2, in 2002 for my brother's sixth birthday. Uh, <laughs> it was a tough time sharing that game, I can tell you. Uh, we still have it, I still have it, it's upstairs somewhere. Um, oh, the phone, stop turning off, god damn it. Um, the game's still upstairs somewhere. It's with my Sims 2 and my Sims 3 collection, which I think I did a video on. It was the Happy Birthday to the Sims video I did a couple of weeks ago. And um, I was showing all of my collections. You should check that out. It's on my channel somewhere. It's in my random video playlist. You can't miss it. <laughs> the thumbnail is a pink rabbit. So. It's not hard to find. It's at the bottom. Just go down. Not hard to find. Um, but yeah, that game used to make a, a awful racket when it was being read on the PlayStation. Um, at some point, it got so loud that I need to put some cushions below the PlayStation. Make it stop making so much noise and stuff like that. We got the camera a bit too much because the table a bit. Oh, don't fall off. But, um, put a cushion under the PlayStation to make it stop making so much noise because it was just horrendous. It still does that now. I don't know why. I don't know why old PlayStation 2 discs make the PlayStation make so much noise. Usually the ones with the blue disc bottom. The ones with the silver disc doesn't. I don't get it. Yeah, I think I talked much about that already. Favourite Disney Channel original movie? Um, I think it would have to be... The Lion King. Um, have to be one or two. Like, <laughs> I like Lion King, Lilo and Stitch. Not sure when that came out. I can't remember from the top of my head. But it was those two, and wait, I'll leave it at those two. There's so many, so many. I like Tarzan. King of the Jungle. Aladdin. That came out when I was born. Don't say why. 
No, I don't say why, but yeah. So Lion King, Lilo and Stitch, Tarzan, Aladdin. There are many others. There's many others, but those four. I think. I think it's four. <laughs> uh, my favourites. And then shake it again. Favourite music artist. Number 10. And um, my favourite artist of that time was S Club 7. I'm not going to name them all. <laughs> um, S Club 7, Steps. Spice Girls. Spice Girls is the first one. Say you really want, want, I really, really want, so I tell you what you want, really, 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 really want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I really, 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 really want to zig zig. <laughs> Still love that song, it's the best. Um, so Spice Girls, Steps, S Club 7. Yeah. <laughs> I really love those, t those three. I still do. Um, I think the Spice Girls got back together, but I've not heard much about them and what they're doing. Steps, I heard they were, but nothing's happened. S Club 7, they're gone and done with. Not sure I can say. Um, number 11, favourite Nick Jr. show? Nick Jr. wasn't on the go. <laughs> not for my no. I'll say digital channel, but back in the day there was no digital channels, it was cable. There was Nickelodeon, there was CBBC. I like watching those educational programs, like um, Words and Pictures. A bingo! Pingu! Can't forget about Pingu! Um, yeah, Pingu, words and pictures! I remember watching the Magic Roundabout and um, stop turning off. <laughs> That's not a program. Come Outside with Auntie Mabel and Pippin. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. And the polka dotted aeroplane. Uh, about many memories. There's there's this one that I also really liked. It had um uh, what what does the bus stop sign say? And it goes on to another story. I can't remember. Oh, what's the sign on the lollipop? That's it, it's the lollipop. <laughs> what's the sign on the lollipop? And there's also Postman Pat. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and there's black and white cats. Um, Oof. Well, that's a few questions left. I thought there was more. Got like two bars on my camera already. This thing doesn't last long. I don't know how long this video has gone or, or anything. Um, number 12, favourite candy. I think I talked about this in my last other video. About oh no, I talked about this in my Ask Miss Sweet series. My first video and it says no. I can't remember where where I put this question. I just get loads of random questions from Spring Me and Ask FM and just answer them all. And but whichever episode it was, I've already got one more out in advance. Uh, but it says which is your favourite discontinued candy? And I said there isn't any that I know of that's been discontinued. So then I went on to talk about I loved eating the Milky Way bar. Um, yeah, turn back on. Um, I like Kit Kats. 
<laughs> I'm gonna stick with Milky Way bars because I don't really remember any. I'm bad at remembering things. I got memory of a goldfish. I can't remember what I did yesterday. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not bad. I don't remember great events though. Um. Yeah, I have to say Milky Way. I really love Milky Way. It's still out and about. I think I should get some Milky Way bars when I go out shopping next time. That'd be awesome. Favourite game? Hmm. Favourite game? I don't know. I have to go back and say The Sims. I don't think I played Monopoly at that age. I, I really doubt I played any many board games. I probably did, but I don't remember playing any of them. I'm gonna say The Sims. Uh, number 14, favourite McDonald's Happy Meal toy. <laughs> that would be all of them. I loved getting each and every toy that came out in the box. Um, if I need to be really specific, specific, it would be the Toy Story, um, Toy Story collection. Uh, way, 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 way back in the day, um, I used to have a. Oops, don't shake. I used to have a, a, a Buzz Lightyear toy, and I think it made a few noises. I can't remember, but he, he had it. His wings just stood there. Just can't move or anything. It was just a block of plastic with just random buttons that make a noise. Um, this was back in the day when all you got was a block of plastic. That's it. Just a few stickers and there, uh, Bob, your uncle. You got an awesome toy to play with. And you just use your imagination with it. You don't need anything that's fancy or. Magical to entertain you. Good. <clears throat> um, I think that's what some kids these days lack in is imagination. That's what we had when I was your age. Oh, and it doesn't sound like my dad now. Back in my day, we only had our imagination. <laughs> it's true though. Um, favorite book. Oh wow. Uh. <sighs> I never read, I never read anything. Obviously, by the way I just said that, I never read anything. <laughs> I never read anything at all. Oh, skip that question. <laughs> and number 16, favourite clothing store? Are they really odd enough to care about clothing stores? <laughs> I still don't care about clothing stores, I just pop into one shop to find what suits me best. Um, I don't normally go to fancy shops with fancy clothes, I just go into one and find something suitable. Number 17, what would you watch when you got home from school? SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> One from square pants, if it's on. Um, cat dog, Rugrats. Um, did I say SpongeBob? I said SpongeBob. Tom and Jerry, Scooby Doo, Flintstones, The Jetsons, all that. <laughs> I could go on for ages. Favorite team. Favourite TV shows, no, shoes, favourite TV shows, <laughs> favourite TV shows, um, I could just set it right there, um, I liked watching The Rugrats, um, Tom and Jerry, Top Cat, those are quite before 90s programmes, apart from Rugrats and uh, Cat Dog, only World of Luke at Dog. Um, BBC programs, educational programs. Um, Pingu, 
got so many. Is it really specific to one? It doesn't. Where I pick these up, it doesn't really say at all. Yeah. I think I leave it at that because I think you get the picture of what I'm trying to say here. Yes. For my battery dies again. I'm gonna go take a pause now. I'll be safe. <laughs> Uh, I want to thank you all so much for watching this quite possibly long tag and hope to see you in another video. Bye bye! Whoa!